Hey there, what's up? Santi here. Today we're gonna be comparing two visual bookmark managers that I believe are some of the best out there. You'll see what I mean when I show you in case you're not familiar with this, but I tried a lot of solutions. I honestly believe that having a dedicated app to actually store all the links that you want to save, maybe some images and some stuff that you just want to organize and stumble upon later, I believe it's great to have an app like this. So we're gonna be covering a couple of topics. I made a bit of a nice presentation here for you and topics such as organization, you know, storage, ease of use, pricing, aesthetics, and searchability. And we're gonna be discussing the pros and cons of each app. So actually, let's start with searchability because I believe that's what a lot of us are really looking for when we have some app of this sort, right? So let's get started with my mind because honestly, this has some of the best searchability that I found. And here it is, you know, here's my mind. And let's just say that I want to find anything that I said regarding or related to Obsidian. There you have it. Anything related to Santa Younger. Great, there you have it. Extremely fast and extremely visual, as you can see, Spider-Man stuff that I love. <laughs> there you have it. It is imperfect though, because if I show you, for instance, time tracking, you will see that there is some Spider-Man stuff in here. What is that doing here? It's a mystery. We'll cover that when we go to the next topic of organization, actually. We'll get to that. First, I do want to talk about searchability in Raindrop and how does it compare to my mind. Okay, so here we are in Raindrop. Again, let's run some similar searches, for instance, Obsidian. As you can see, it took a little bit longer, but there you have it, very nice, also very visual. Let's do no taking, takes a little second. There you have it, nothing too bad, honestly, for me, it's not a deal breaker at all, but honestly, it's not as fast as my mind, just because my mind is like one of the fastest things I've ever seen. <laughs> Something that I do like about the search of Raindrop is that you can actually see some suggestions and even go straight to folders and so on. You also have some more, more advanced filters for particular dates or, you know, tags or anything like that, which is pretty nice. In my mind, if you press question mark symbol, it actually pops up with a couple of suggestions, but honestly, it's not as powerful as some of the stuff that it can do here to filter down searches in Raindrop, which I think is pretty cool. So it really depends on like, what do you value more? Do you value speed or more advanced functionality to filter down things? Oh wait, almost forgot a really cool thing about searchability that I forgot to add about Raindrop is actually two things. One is that if you have a Mac, which I don't, you can actually incorporate it with Alfred, which is kind of like a, a nice way in which you can search things. I use another thing, don't worry. It doesn't work with this one. This one is called Microsoft Power Toys. It doesn't work. But if you're Windows like me or Linux, there's something pretty cool still, which is the fact that if you just go to your browser and you search RD space for raindrop, then here you can actually search for anything and it's going to actually return the results in there. It's pretty cool. That's a really cool pro tip and a really huge benefit for raindrop. By the way, I know I've been showing a lot of results, so if you found anything embarrassing while I was searching for something, just let me know in the comments. <laughs> cool, moving on to the next topic. Now, when it comes to organization, first, my mind, like we were saying, it really relies on the type of tags that are using. So for instance, if I search for Twitter, you can see it there. If I search for tweet, is even a better search. Maybe images, GitHub. My mind has like this nice um, system where it just automatically tags a lot of things automatically without even asking you. Sometimes it's helpful, sometimes not so much. For instance, in the case of time tracking, like why is there Spider-Man in here? Why does this appear in here? I honestly don't know. So sometimes your searches are not as clean as you would like them to be. Um, I did create some that are kind of unique words such as to watch or to read that I manually created. But for instance, books, right? This is another example. I would just like to see anything that is explicitly a book and there just doesn't seem to be an easy way to do that not even if i use quotation marks to just show me the books unless i really go out of my way and do something like show only books or something like that something that i know will never be tagged by accident automatically and then yeah that's one of the ways to filter it but unfortunately there's no really easy way to select several entries at the same time and tag them you know so like it definitely becomes a bit annoying when you want to search only for one thing there's no easy way to just filter it down to that one particular thing you're looking for, right? Now, when it comes to actually Raindrop, it's a lot easier to do this. And that's part of why I really think that Raindrop is a bit of a more versatile tool. Like, as you can see here, I have like a tag of apps to try. And because you can create these folders, at least in the paid version, you can use uh, also like nested folders. So like subfolders, um, tried apps and so on. Or like, for instance, here in films, I have films but I also have like the ones that I have yet to watch and the ones that I've already watched. And that's just very easy, you know, like if I just go here and let's say that I already watched this film, I just send it to watch and there you go. 
That's a lie, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> when it comes to organization, if you really want to have some control over what you're doing, I do believe that Raindrop is better for that. However, if you do want just to have a place where you actually just drop absolutely everything and then you hope to find it later, then yeah, my mind probably will help you find it, you know, like uh, cooking stuff. Apparently I don't have anything cooking. <laughs> I don't know, sports, right? There you have it, right? So yeah, you do have a bit more of of a higher chance to just throw things into my mind and then expect to find them, you know, which is pretty nice. But I personally do like to have a bit more control over what I'm searching. So that's why, at least for me, I think right now, uh, Raindrop is a bit of a better fit. But yeah, either way, the point of this video is to help you decide, right? So yeah, just know that I'm a bit biased because I recently made the switch. I was using my mind for quite a while and now I'm using Raindrop. What's funny though, was that one of the biggest reasons why I decided to start using Raindrop is because my mind has always been way more expensive, to be honest. But as I decided to change, they actually introduced a new pricing. So now I think it's a little bit more even. So when it comes to my mind, not the pricing of my mind, but the pricing of my mind, the app, <laughs> I just needed to make a my mind pun and that was improvised, that was terrible. Either way, so here's the pricing and as you can see, it was always $12. That's the one that I was paying for for like half a year, maybe longer. Pretty pricey is really up there with one of the premium apps like a Rome Research and that kind of stuff. So it's really trying to market itself as a premium app, honestly. But they recently introduced the Student of Life pricing, which is a bit better, $6 a month. I think that makes it more affordable, also more accessible. So that's pretty nice. The one thing that I find it really annoying that they don't include in this version is dark mode because dark mode is you need to upgrade to the higher plan which is funny because i was always on this higher plan then i moved to raindrop just to make this video i decided to keep paying for the student of life but they don't have dark mode so i'm using dark reader to actually make it dark mode yeah so that's a workaround i really wish they just included dark mode to be honest what you're gonna do so yeah that's the pricing of my mind and the pricing of raindrop let's take a look at it so there you have it there's a free version which my mind doesn't have which we'll talk more about in a second on top of that if you do pay yearly you do save a 20 percent, which i think is pretty cool so yeah the price is significantly cheaper to my mind to be honest and i think it's an incredible pricing model they also have this free account which i believe is really important for the following reason and that is what for lack of a better word i'm gonna call storage so yeah i didn't really know how to name this section properly because this goes beyond how much you're allowed to actually store in each app both of them are pretty much unlimited because you're saving a bunch of links maybe some images it's not like you're saving video files that are really heavy it's not really a storage service but rather what i'm talking about is the act of you storing this information and being able to access it in the long term now with my mind i actually ran into a big problem and that was the fact that when i discovered raindrop i wanted to stop paying for my mind you know because i was evaluating raindrop and then if i didn't like raindrop i was thinking of going back to my mind but guess what if you stop paying for my mind everything gets deleted and i'm like what is going on so i actually reached out to the people at my mind being like hey this happened i want to stop paying for it temporarily but it seems like the only way is to get everything deleted there is a way to export things but even if exported you cannot import it back either way long story short if you don't keep paying for my mind forever until you die you have to delete your account and delete everything that you have. I honestly hope they solve that because it's a huge problem. It's a premium service, I totally get it. But in cases like my own, where I just wanted to stop paying for a couple months and potentially come back later, I wish that my account was like froze and then maybe if I want to bring it back, like it's fine if I cannot use it while I'm not paying, but if I want to come back, I wish I could see all my files in there. Thankfully, I contacted them. They helped me bring back my stuff. And right now, it downgraded to the lower price. Either way, honestly, a bit of a mess. I really hope they solve that situation. I think it's pretty annoying. When it comes to Raindrop, it's amazing. You do have a free account that you can use. So if you decide to stop paying temporarily or you don't even want to pay at all, like there's no problem. You'll have your data still in there. You can also export backups, which is pretty nice. And it's actually pretty nice because I think to most people, maybe the paid account is not even necessary. Like it's really just up to you. I honestly really wanted the subfolder. So that's why I did pay. And But as you could see in the pricing, like it was really, really affordable. And I think that's a huge pro for Raindrop. So yeah. I really applaud what they're doing with that because they're making it super accessible and that's incredible. All right, so now let's move to the category of ease of use. So how easy it is to use these apps, how easy it is to just bookmark things that you find online and that you just want to save, whether that's on your phone or on your computer. Well, let me show you. So first in my mind. Okay, so let's say you stumble upon a nice website like this one and you want to save it to my mind. Not my mind, your mind. Your app, your my mind. <laughs> All you gotta do is download the extension and then you can click on that and it's gonna save it and you can actually tag it whatever, like, cool, right? There you go. And you can even write a note. There you go. And that should be saved. Now let's go to my mind. And as you can see, is the first thing right here or if I search for it, 
it should also pop up in there and there you have it the note that we had and cool we can add more tags in here and so on i also think it looks really cool for videos so say you're watching an awesome video on youtube and you want to save it this is one moment saving and there you go and then you go to my mind and you can see it here right there you can even play the video and yeah videos save very nicely if you search for youtube you can see all of these ones it also seems to tag it as watch later so that's pretty nice as well and there you have it that is my mind right there for you now raindrop how does it work pretty simple as well you go to the page you want to save you need to get the browser extension and then here you have it you can place it in whatever category you want it or just leave it in unsorted any tags cool there you go pretty cool and yeah it's now saved nice let's go to raindrop and there it is you can also click in there to actually see the website which is pretty nice if you want to read it right there so that's that regarding the ease of use in terms of how easy it is to add new entries new bookmarks that you want to save also in the phone it works really nice like they both have a way in which you're maybe on youtube or on your browser you can just share it to my mind not my mind my mind <laughs> or to raindrop <laughs> you know so yeah the phone it also works really well and as far as i know it works both in android and iphone for both apps i use android and i know both apps work pretty well on android cool now let's get to aesthetics every millennial's favorite word what about the aesthetics Santi? what about the aesthetics <laughs> yeah well i mean you saw it i do believe that maybe my mind is more aesthetic just because it's a bit more minimalist it's very clean like you can change the size of the grid if you want it to be really tiny or if you want it to be a bit bigger i prefer it like that maybe it does look pretty cool honestly like the fact that all the titles are just there nicely placed underneath each image and just like how my mind just takes a screenshot or a relevant image from everything that it just grabs just really really cool i think it's, it looks really incredible to be honest and even in mobile it does look great my mind just works on the web so it's always a web version whereas raindrop does actually have a desktop app which is this one right here pretty similar it's just the added benefit that it does look very clean without the need to open a browser and yeah just pretty cool in raindrop you do have a couple of added functionalities such as being able to visualize things in list in headlines in mood board which is pretty cool actually i should switch to this one it's pretty nice i like that a lot nice why didn't i try that earlier it does look great yeah why did i try that earlier that looks incredible especially for like films that i have in here it does look a lot better you also have the option to show a description which i prefer not to you can also sort entries manually i already watched this film that's a good one you can sort things manually which i really really like or you can have them alphabetically or whatever you need right so honestly yeah i mean aesthetics i always personally thought that my mind was a bit better but right now as you can see <laughs> when you start exploring more things in raindrop it does look quite nice so there you have it those are the categories see which one of these are the most important to you which ones are maybe deal breakers what is actually what you're looking after honestly if i have to just narrow it down to help you make a choice if you want to be able to have more control and actually organize things a lot more raindrop is better but if you actually just want to have a place where you just dump everything that you find and you want to be able to actually find it my mind is better for that apart from that another big factor is of course the pricing but if you can afford my mind it's pretty nice do try it out i think it's worth trying it out at least and of course the good thing about raindrop is that there's a lower barrier by just being able to use it for free and then if you ever need to upgrade it it actually is pretty affordable which i really appreciate from them both of them seem to be created by small teams uh, raindrop seems to be created by one guy at least that's how he talks in twitter like he always talks in the first person and in the sales pitch so i honestly don't know if he's just one guy but i know that my mind is also a small team and they're trying to grow this app and i honestly think they're doing a cool thing and i do think i mean i'm super grateful for my time at my mind i really enjoyed it it was really a nice experience but right now i'm honestly moving to raindrop Let's see where that takes me. Let's see if I keep using that for the long term. But either way, I think both apps are cool. But there's a lot of things to consider. So that's why I wanted to make this analysis. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions on any of these apps or any other app that you want me to check out. With that said, that was the video. Hope you have a good day and see you in the next one. Bye. See ya.